Bonjour, so we are in Creepy Creek for another episode of World Hopping. First thing first, that video is actually the continuation of the previous one that I'm going to link on the screen uh, to have more context there. And then, 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 what else? Oh, yeah, I've, uh, I've done a few modifications since the last time, and the big one is the harbor here. So I've removed a few lots, I think, at least five. Uh, that were here and here, and instead I've used uh, CC. So I'll I'll link the the CC in the description box below. Uh, the boats here, um, the decks, and also the the wall here, the the small wall. Okay, so the main idea for today's episode is to make the world ready to be shared. Still a few things to change, and to remove or add. I've removed a few spawners that were, you know, a bit uh, redundant. I mean, are you really going to use this one, for instance? Let's remove it. Okay. Also, I've removed... So, so yeah, it was a junkyard in the previous video, and there were puppies on, uh, on this one, and also on this one, which was a residential lot. It still is. It might have been a sort of trailer. So I removed them because on, on the lots there were puppies and the puppies they came with Montevista. I'm trying to remove things from Montevista. I'm thinking that's a, that sign might be from Montevista. Uh, yeah, I think it is. Uh, it's a shame because I really like that sign. So I removed the lot and then I placed it again. So this one is the same size but this one I made a bit smaller because it was, I think it was 50 by 64 and I have a lot of 64 by 64 lots and this one doesn't yeah no be bye-bye <laughs> okay so that what I've done here I've got the list of different lot sizes uh, great to have so I have a few people who chimed in and uh, so I have a 64 at least one 64 by 64 at least one 60 by 60 if it's a 64 by 64 instead of a 60 by 60. I think we can keep it, no? Because these four are 60 by 60. And I was thinking of removing these <laughs> and instead have smaller lots here and delineate it better. Because this one is supposed to be a park, it's 64 by 64. See, 60 by 60, 60 by 60, 60, 60. Yeah, Elm Street, I like it to have maybe more residential lots. I had a school here uh, with a theater, I think. And this one that was the library? Oh, was the school here? I'm getting confused. Okay, I remember. This one was the school with the library here. So it was a, the lot double was library. The lot assignment was a library. And here, this one was the swimming pool. And this one here was the, I've talked a bit about it before, was a stadium with the bleachers. That picture is after I had played, so not all the lots were there. Oh yeah, I need to check that. Before removing some of the lots, I need to check that there, there is at least one spot for each of the uh, store venues. Do the venues have the, on the page, does, does it show the, the size of the venue? Oh, I'm going to need to go... Ugh, I need to go in-game. doesn't indicate... Oh, that's not cool. That would be better if you tell me how big it is. Because they are not all the same size. So I do own most of them. Which one do I... I think this one is a different size because I use this one in the world. I don't have this one. Nor this one. Nor this. I don't have the first three ones. I don't think so. I could. I earn everything from this one. <laughs> so I could. So yeah, I do have the other ones. Uh, you know what? I wanted to go in-game to go see if I could find at least the ferry boat uh, because it's CC free. Uh, the lighthouse right now, I don't know where I have, if I have it somewhere. It's pretty easy to do because I, I've just used 
you know, the big windows from Roaring Heights, you know, um, let me show you these ones, one on top of the other, on three stories, I think. So you see, one, two, three, and then a uh, half wall on the fence. Windows are from University Life, I'm going to say. <laughs> and, you know, it's a pretty basic lighthouse. So uh, you, you have the foggy mirror on top and you type in, what was it? I think lighthouse beam in the tab. Uh, oh, maybe you need to have it a bit higher, like on the side table, I think, the foggy mirror, so that it is at the correct height. If I find it, I'll, I'll put it up for the node, but right now I do not have it. So, okay, I'll, I'm going to go in game and try to find which lot sizes I need to, to keep for the store uh, venues. I, I might keep this one. This was a school uh, when I was playing, a private school. So there were two schools and this one was a private one with uh, all the kids were wearing a, un a uniform there. I've painted the terrain it's like that because I've not, I haven't placed back the, the lot after painting the terrain here. But here, I, sometimes I keep it like that. I, I know what, what I'm having. <laughs> so, like for instance here. So as you can see, I um, uh, it's part of the lot, but at the same time I wanted to have an access for the cars uh, here. On the front there were buildings, uh, like brownstones, but uh, in the back it's the, the, the parking lot. So this one is pretty big. Maybe I can cut that. Oof. Okay. Yeah, this one is going to be cut at least in half. <laughs> Maybe more pieces. So that's a decor item. It's it's difficult when you're not playing in, in a world to make it... Um, I don't know how other people are playing. Well, I do for some of them, but everyone is different. So I'm not going to change anything there. So, oh yeah, I wanted to remove this one. I add it in here, but then I think, yeah. It's a big lot, 64 by 64. Uh, here I had the saw mill. I think it's big, but it's half on the water. So, because if you want to use the the wheel, uh, there is a tiny lot over there. I had a tree house I had made, 10 by 10. <laughs> the countryside, so there is, this one is big because it was for Grandpa's Grove. And this one is smaller. Uh, 40 by 40, so it can be another farm over there. Here, okay, I have a couple of huge lots. Yeah, 64 by 64. I made, um, here it is, it's an equestrian center using the door. The door is the rabbit hole uh, building. It's just a door. And I based it on one from uh, Apalita Plains to be able to play inside, you know, uh, one of the moms was horse rider, so <laughs> she went horseback riding uh, there, and I think it was this lot. But I changed it a bit because I didn't finish that area before playing, so uh, after after I added a few more trees extra. I, I don't remember if it was this one or this one, both are the same size, so it would be for something else because I don't, I don't think I have that lot anymore. And I'm not about to rebuild it. Is it 64 by 64? Yeah, this one too. 64 by 64. Okay, so let me check first the size, the different sizes. Whoa. So trip down memory lane. So it, this is not Trimbrook. Yeah, well, it used to be, but it's an edit I did with uh, some cats. We were on the same uh, forum together and we made it for a Christmas, uh, as a Christmas gift uh, for the forum members. So anyway, there is, I'm here because, ooh, here it is, I had made <laughs> a ferry boat and that's the one I used then after in Creepy Creek and it's CC3. Here is a closer look. Uh, so I seem to remember that there was a mistake somewhere so I need to, to check that. I think it was maybe Manman who played a bit with it and there was something missing. It was maybe a step somewhere. Is this... Okay, step is missing there. 
wasn't sure if it was a platform. Uh, so let's have like two. Thank you. And uh, let's do that. I don't have time to play this the lot. But basically, there are bathrooms here, parking spaces. Oh, forgot to paint here. There we go. And then upstairs, there is kind of a cafe, arcade machines, games over there. And on the top floor here is the steering wheel. And yeah, so that's the same one I've used in Creepy Creek. Just that I might have changed a couple of things, but nothing major. I'll export it so I can share it. So then, uh, another thing I wanted to do while I'm in game is uh, have a look at the different store venues that I own and see their sizes. So, by the way, this one is 40 by 40. So 44 by 40 is enough for an equestrian center. Okay, so the store venues. So this one is 40 by 40. So another one. Okay, I'll, I need to write it down to remember. So, um, the boardwalk, ugh, it's big. Uh, does it need to be on the boardwalk? And then Skylight Studio, 40 by 40. So this one is also 40 by 40. This one, 40 by 40. Cool. Ooh, 30 by 30, the bistro. And then, yeah, this one, we're not sure. Okay, this one, why not? 40 by 40. Another one. Ah, this one's same thing. Uh, maybe oh, it can be the market and be slightly uh, changed if needed. This one, 50 by 50. Okay. Uh, 40 by 30. Okay. And, well, this one I don't know. Same thing. Oh, maybe if you remove the palm trees and maybe have different siding. 30 by 30. Okay, this one I had uh, a spot for it. And it was a 40 by 45, and I'm thinking of removing the all the lots that are 40 by 45 and instead of 40 by 40. So yeah, okay, let's do that. Okay, and that's it for these. And a very brief foray into <laughs> Tick Power, uh, sent to the luck. So we are back in Crater World, and I'm going to remove a few lots. So these ones are 40 by 45. And I'm going to have them 40 by 40 instead. I'm thinking of having um, a sidewalk going in the back, like a promenade, a walk. For the boardwalk lot, maybe maybe here? And in that case, have smaller lots over there or just decor. These can be like a cafe and, I don't know, another store, like a, a souvenir store. I'm saying that, but at the same time, it's too close to the road. Uh, I'm not going to move uh, everything. So no, it's not a good spot for the bolt walk here. I could have it like here. So in that case, do I keep that lot? I'm going to remove this one because it was very specific what I had here. <laughs> it was it was a lot of fun to do, but I have never I, I never used it afterwards. So I'm going to remove this one. Okay, those two are they are both. 64 by 64. So removing this one and I'm keeping this one. I removed this one, was a residential lot, and have only, like, it's only, it's nothing, no residential lots there. It just, it goes to that area. And I'll, I'll keep this one so it can be the bolt walk or it can be someone commented that they wanted a rose garden. That would be a wedding venue. It's such a great idea. And so let's check the view from there, see if it's nice. So view on the town on one side, on the waterfall in the back, and on the other side, the ocean. Uh, we can't see the skyline, the city skyline. Oh, no, we cannot. Even from that. Oh, no, it's not there. It's over there. <laughs> okay. There should be like a lighthouse over there. So I'm going to have the pathway go, the, the trail here, go up to there. I might paint a, a tad more the terrain and maybe add some flowers here. I, I, I won't do too much. <laughs> I'm already doing a bit too much, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, let's retire that world like with 
in style, let's say. <laughs> All done uh, adjusting the world, I'm um, going to load up the game, show you where we are at. So here we go, uh, Creepy Creek. So that's the CC part here. <laughs> so if you if you don't uh, load up the, the CC, this area will be empty. I've changed quite a few things. Uh, here there is just one lot. Uh, this area over there is now very residential looking. Ooh, I'll have to talk about the road too. The textures I've used. Uh, what else have I changed quite a bit uh, here and here. I'll zoom in a bit later. And uh, where? here it's still the same here. I've changed, <laughs> I've changed it quite a bit here. And I've uh, changed one lot. Oh yeah, this one. And that's about it, I think. I'll have Tan Tan moving somewhere and we'll have a closer look and then we'll talk about the lots. So here we go, I have uh, Tan Tan is now living in, <laughs> in a very creepy area of the, of the world. I tried to have the world as a dot world, you know, you can convert it and uh, when I did that, I had different files and I used Sim3PE. It worked for a previous one, one uh, that was old and big, Tikpao. It worked for it. And here it did not. I got that error message and uh, not happy. <laughs> and uh, so I, I don't know why I'm not tech savvy. So I thought maybe because it's such a big world, but then Tikpao is also very big, so not sure. The global layer is clean, so it's not that. I've even thought that maybe I'd put like the rabbit hole rug for city hall, but no, it's just the shell, that building, so I don't know. The good thing is that when I installed it via the launcher, it went very fast, so that was cool. It's pretty much empty the world, so except for a few lots and this one is just a, a shell, so just a building, there is nothing inside and there are no, not really a lot of details there, but yeah, see empty, just 
<laughs> it's not even even done the the layout there. The, the park is not that uh, furnished either. That is the creepy area. So inspired by uh, the Friday the Thirteenth uh, movie movie franchise, and uh, Tantan is, lives there <laughs> right now. It's empty, but I don't. Uh, it was Jason's mom's cabin, so I done a whole thing with an altar and stuff like that. So there is that house, and um, it should be a campground. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go in uh, in Edit Town. So yeah, it is a base camp. Cool. So <laughs> I had a lot of fun with this. What I have in mind? Why? Uh, why I've placed this one or this one there? So uh, let's uh, go in that order. Uh, so this one, Prism Arts Studio, it is 40 by 40 and I would place it here. So these are only suggestions. <laughs> it's not uh, like you have to do that or just why I've put that here. Uh, I've uh, kept a big lot here because I was thinking that this one uh, which fit here quite nicely let's rotate it a tad and yeah i think it would yeah it does fit oh i'm happy because I'm, i've never seen it from up close like that i have the venues because uh, i installed the premium items with them uh, through the launcher it's because i had an issue uh, before. See, so that's why I have the venues like that. And I'm a bit surprised, but I'm, I'm missing a few that I own, but I don't have them there. I, I must have removed them. I don't know for what reason. Oh, that's the big one. So let's see if it works. Because here I've done a. So I've, I've changed quite a bit th that area. I've sculpted a bit more here so that there is room for just one big lot instead of two. I've done a. Um, parking area uh, in front of it and um yeah that's cool because i wasn't sure uh, how the entrance to the park would fit in there oh there is a second one here okay that's a bit dangerous you know <laughs> oh shoot um well it, listen i'm not going to edit the lot you can edit it as you wish if you want it even there so um, um, there is actually a pathway here. I made it go up to there, to the edge of the of the lot. So maybe it would be better to have that arch over there, but I don't know how it would go with the whole thing. So then uh, the gym. Oh, it's forty by forty. I, th hmm. I was going to say I wanted to have it here, but you know what? It's modern. I think it would fit here better. Oh, it's modern and it's pretty neat. I love it. <laughs> That's a very sweet lot. <laughs> the swimming pool is pretty. This one I wasn't sure. Um, I'm hesitating a bit because it could go there. But then I'm, I'd like to have the market here. And so maybe mm, it's quite closed off. <laughs> okay. So I've, I've put a few cars over there, just like decor items, um, thinking that it could be also a field. So it's, the lot is bigger than the the venue. Uh, yeah, okay. It's a renaissance fair, it's a bit quirky, you know. <laughs> okay. What is this one? Business as usual bistro. Uh, which, if I remember well, is pretty modern too. So let's have it there. So uh, the the pavement here, the textures can be painted over, and the textures I've used for the grass for the lawn is um, from Starlight Shores. Don't. Oh, I like the roof. Okay, so this one. I'm going to pass. <laughs> okay, I really don't know where I could have it, so that it wouldn't look out of uh, of place. <laughs> oh, this one is not easy either. Keeping for Grimy Manor, but I'm pretty sure I don't have it on in my game right now. That's where I would have the now and then Sentry Manor. 
I think the name, the whole name is. That's where I had them. And uh, yeah, let's have it there. Yeah, no, <laughs> it doesn't. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm going to put it aside for now. Uh, the market, I'll have it here. Okay, so it's not the style, <laughs> not the town, but with just a few modifications. And it would, uh, I think it would go very nicely. <laughs> oh, it looks quite intricate. I thought it was a circus. Oh, shoot. So I had plans for this one here. Actually, <laughs> it's way too clean. <laughs> so. <laughs> Oh shoot 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 shoot. There, there is even a parking lot over there. So, yeah, it doesn't really go with... Okay, so let me explain. There are a few lots here, and I was thinking that it was circus, and for me, like, it was a temporary uh, thing, not something where it's built in. I placed a, a, a few residential lots there around it, so that that would be the circus itself here, like a, a, a live venue of sorts. And here would be like for the, the trailers uh, all around, uh, well, almost all around it. I haven't finished adjusting the area, so I don't know, should I keep it like that? Or uh, what I'm going to do is just add a few more trees. But yeah, there are quite a few lots here. There are, uh, this one. It's a big one, like 50 by 50, uh, so just the size of that lot. It's an area where I got a bit carried away. <laughs> I was uh, I was uh, having fun, you know, placing things. So yeah, uh, 10 by 15 and 20 by 15. Okay, so here, uh, I don't I don't know, I'm not sure. Then back downtown for this one, uh, this one. Uh, do I have it uh, on this side? I think on the other side might depend on... So this here is a residential lot. I don't have a lot in mind for it, but yeah, I guess it could look nice here. Oh yeah, then, so then this one. Okay, uh, I'm thinking it could, could be a spa or something. Let's have it where I thought I would have the studio. So, I mean, maybe, yeah, on the other side. I'll go with it, like changing the rooftop, maybe, and also the, the siding and removing the plants. For me, it's more of a brownstone area, so it's a bit weird to have that here, but uh, why not? And then this one, so Tiny Prodigy's Early Learning Center. So yeah, I think I had placed it like that. Re didn't really use it, just I thought it was a fit for the area. I didn't want to build <laughs> too many things, so... Not from the store, but of course there are a few lots from the library here that can easily be be added. I'm thinking the festival grounds, uh, like you can have your pick of them, because I have a few lots that are 64 by 64, so this one, but it's also not that far from the town. This one, uh, I've kept those two. Uh, this one is for Grandpa's uh, Grove, so I'll, I'll put it there next and then so this one I, I moved and it's a 50 by 50 yeah and oh yeah it's this one then uh, another one i wanted to oh it's this one so there's this one that is 40 by 40 or oh, this one is uh, 60 by 60 so should fit here but why not have the 40 by 40 up here like that so that's uh, i got inspiration from that building to do the the one i had made which wasn't a rabbit hole. So these, so this one, this one, this one, and this one, they are four of them that have non-standard sizes. Mm, I wanted these ones to have standard sizes. So these, they were like, I was like, oh, do I make them smaller? <laughs> or do I use the, the space um, that is there that I can use? So I went with uh, using the space that was there. So I'm not going to change them because I don't have time. <laughs> They're going to stay that way. So those are the lots that don't have like the standard uh, sizes. There are other lots. So these are 20 by 30, 25 by 30, 30 by 30, 30 by 30. Here um, on that hill, there are four 
uh, lots where I had the wealthiest families live. So there are 40 by 40 lots. I did that for the four houses, if I remember well. I actually used, I think they are from Ambitions. Oh yeah, here they are. So I actually used those houses. There are four of them. And then I changed them just a tad. That way I had an uh, already uh, sort of planned out uh, house. So for instance, this one, that's where I had the Gooder family. So I edited the, the lot. I just changed a few things, added a, a garage. Oh, I think I switched the conservatory was on the other side. Was that? Um, let's see, that was the inside of the house. Uh, the different rooms, that was a conservatory. And the top floor with quite a few bedrooms. First floor, second floor. That was based on that house here. And I did that for the four uh, lots here. Here you are, I was looking for Grandpa's Grove. It's lost in the middle of, of uh, different lots I have made. Uh, okay, here we go. I think I had it facing the other way. Yes, like that. So there is a lot uh, in the field behind it, so you can remove it easily. So that's why I left it. And that's where I had the, the tractor, so because I really wanted to have a, a field. So there are still some more adjustments to do in that, in that world uh, before it's ready. So if you have any suggestions, you know, for instance, uh, for the circus area corner over there, please let me know. I'm, I'm going to try and have it, the world ready within a week, like next weekend. Should be It should be up for download. But if you missed that uh, time frame, I'll have the world itself and it's going to be a dot sims 3 pack and then also the create a world files so that you can modify the world yourself if you want to you know as you you wish it to be uh, you, you can do I mean I'm not playing in it and you, you can change everything I even the name everything I don't mind at all um, also I've not play tested that version and I won't uh, because not, not the goal here, it's just one of my old world that I'm sharing. So I have uh, plenty of other projects I would like to, to get to. So that's just kind of a conclusion for this one. Uh, I'm, I'm, personally, I'm all done with it, with it and it's going to go back to, to my archives. I've got very good memories with this one, but yeah, uh, not going to play in it again. And, whoa, you know what I'm going to do? I'll have a community post once the world is ready to let you know. And then I'll add the different links to the description box below this video. Um, because I'm not going to do an, one an, uh, another video. Uh, so it's going to be, all the links will be added a bit later, like in, in a few days. So that's it for me and for this episode. I'll see you in the next video. A bientôt